Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video. Now, guys, before I start the video, I want to say thank you guys so much. We have reached 1,000 subscribers. That's a huge, huge number when you think about it. Thank you to every single one of you guys who tunes in to watch my videos. And of course, the work is only just starting and we are gonna be continuing uh, in order to bring you guys the best Barcelona content possible. Uh, but guys, let's get straight into the video and let's talk about the latest Barcelona news in which you know Barcelona, they have signed an agreement with the company Aramark. Uh, we did talk about it on yesterday's video. And then as well, we look at some potential departures such as Julian Arajo, we talk about Hector Ford, could you potentially be going out on loan? And Hansi Flick, he wants to bring back the winning mentality and the winning sensation to this club. Uh, but guys, let's get started with the video. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get straight into the video and let's talk about Barcelona's uh, official announcement in which they did announce uh, their partnership with the company Aramac, uh, a catering service company slash hospitality provider and uh, they will be covering that 40 million euro uh, payment in which Libero uh, they weren't able to pay and this is FC Barcelona's official statement. Uh, FC Barcelona and Aramac extend their strategic relationship as a new Barca, Barca Vision business partner and a spy Barca partner. FC Barcelona and Aramac have announced a new strategic agreement through the current catering and hospitality provider for the club and it becomes a Barca Vision shareholder, Bridgeburg Invest, as well as a new spy Barca partner and as I said guys they will be covering that 40 million euro um, fee in which I don't uh, Libero they were to pay Barcelona last year and they just haven't paid and uh, this eases Barcelona's financial difficulties uh, a lot and it returns Barcelona back uh, to the one-to-one -one rule which means that we every for every single player that leaves the club we will be able to sign another player but this does not mean that all the Barcelona's financial uh, difficulties are solved we still have a lot more work to do but uh, this payment from Aramac it just helps Barcelona a lot and uh, you know there's still a lot of work to be done uh, but guys talking uh, about the Barcelona players guys I'm gonna be talking about Hansi Flick because Hansi Flick right now uh, that right back position is a hot topic at the moment and he views that right back position as covered by Jose Koundé and as well by the La Masia players and a potential arrival of Joao Cancelo. Joao Cancelo guys he is still on Barcelona's radio we did talk about it before on the channel but uh, it appears that Barcelona they are um you know they have their sights set on joel cancelo and uh, what does this mean for hector four guys because a report has come out that's saying that with hansi flick him being satisfied with alex vaje and satisfied with kunde as well and um and you know with the potential arrival of joel cancelo hector's four future is a little bit unclear and hector four he no longer wants to play for barca athletic and uh, he wants to be playing some first team minutes and so a potential loan isn't rolled out for him uh but barcelona do want to keep him in spain they want him to you know be familiar with the league and so what do you guys make of a potential loan for hector four i think hector four being as a backup right back slash a backup left back would be a great option but barcelona you know with gerard martin as well with alex vaje and with jules kunde they are very satisfied in those positions and talking about you know joao cancel and his potential arrival it could make things a little bit difficult but uh talking about joao cancel guys Barcelona, as I said, they're still not giving up on Joel Cancelo and they have made some early contacts with Manchester City. Contacts that are still active and uh, Barcelona right now, they're trying to find an agreement with Manchester City in order to bring in Joel Cancelo to Barcelona. And, uh, you know, they're still understanding uh, the, the terms and everything and they're trying to negotiate a fee with them. But, um, you know, Man City, they do want roughly 25 to 30 million euros for the Portuguese. And you guys know my thoughts on Joao Cancelo. Joao Cancelo is a very talented player, but as a fullback, he does leave some question marks, especially defensively. He isn't, you know, one of those fullbacks in which, you know, is going to think more about defending than attacking. You know, he wants to be up there uh, further up on the pitch. And, you know, already with the La Masia players that we do have, you know, your Hector Ford, your uh, Alex Valle, your Gerard Martin, and Jules Koundé, I don't know if it's the right idea to go after Joao Cancelo. I think it's better to keep Hector Ford. 
avoid him going out on loan and instead, you know, forget about Joao Cancelo and say, you know, thank you for your time at Barcelona. Uh, but continuing, guys, and talking about Hansi Flick and his plans for the Barcelona squad, right now, Hansi Flick, he wants to instill that winning mentality and he wants to recover the thing in which he views that Barcelona have lost in recent years, and that is that winning spirit, something that he wants to recover in Barcelona and you know this is fantastic news guys because Hansi Flick you know in that in during preseason as well when we did win in those matches he said you know the job isn't finished our performance it, it, you know, there's still lots of things to work on for example we didn't press for 90 minutes we defended too deep and you know he's still looking uh, for various things to fix you know there, there's still a lot of work to be done and he wants to have that winning mentality and he wants to have that winning culture at Barcelona and talking about how he is going to make that happen guys uh, Diego up uh, uh, Tiago Alcantara is, a, is uh, a very vital part to that as right now Hansi Flick is very satisfied and there's very positive reports in regards to Tiago Alcantara. Uh, he's been able to help our youngsters with tactical indications apparently. Uh, this is reported by Sport and uh, also he has a very good relationship for Hansi Flick. We did talk about this before and apparently there was actually a conflict between one of uh, the Barcelona players, it, it wasn't mentioned which Barcelona player, but uh, apparently this Barcelona player was frustrated in the training exercises and uh, he left, he went back into the dressing room and Diego Alcantara, he went, he sat him down, he called him, he said, hey, you know, let's try to return back to the training sessions and return to the group. And after that conversation, Diego Alcantara was able to bring out the player back out onto the pitch. Um, you know, and I'm guessing it's just frustrations, you know, and um, we don't know which Barcelona player it was, but, um, you know, Diego Alcantara, you know, stepping in and helping um, you know, Hansi Flick, that's something that Hansi Flick values a lot. And, uh, you know, Teo Cantara, he is going to be a v vital uh, part of Barcelona, of Hansi Flick's staff and Barcelona as well. Uh, but the last piece of news that guys I did want to talk about on today's video is in regards to Julian Araujo because Julian Araujo right now he is not in Hansi Flick's plans and uh, board, uh, Boardmouth right now they are in advanced talks to sign Julian Araujo a deal worth roughly 10 million euros this has been reported by Fabrizio Romano and looking at how Barcelona they're like they're kind of actually stacked in that fullback position. Uh, Julian Araujo's future uh, is most likely away at Barcelona. And this is a little bit surprising, guys, because I thought that Julian Araujo, after the good season that he had at Las Palmas, he could have had a you know an interesting role under Hansi Flick, a player who is fast, very solid defensively, and who can you know, offer things going forward. It's a surprise that Hansi Flick doesn't trust uh, Julian Araujo, or at least sees him in his plans as a backup, a right back, or left back. But, um, you know, knowing the eruption of Alex Vaggi and the good performances that he put in, it's understandable. But, guys, that was it for the Barcelona news of the day. Definitely let me know your guys' thoughts on everything that was discussed on today's video. Barcelona, had they have officially re received those 40 million euros from Aramac, uh, helping Barcelona return to the one-to-one -one rule. And then, as well, uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in regards to the whole situation in regards to that right back. Hector Fort potentially going out on, lo uh, on loan. Joao Cancelo to Barcelona, that operation is still alive. And uh, Juan Araujo set to join Bournemouth very, very soon. Uh, but guys, once again, thank you guys for all the support you have given to the channel. We have reached 1,000 subscribers, a huge mile mark and a huge achievement. Thank you guys, every single one. Thank you to every single one of you guys who tune in and support my videos. And as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. And make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Alegría, el estilo para lo que más quiero en la vida. Para lo que